So here we're taking, at a, uh, taking a look at a student's project and we're just going to make a, a few little uh, alterations to clean it up. Um, just kind of looking around, the first thing I see is there is a gap between this wall or the roof and that wall there. And I'm just zoom above here and I'm just hitting the HH key to hide that and you can see that gap there. So there's two ways to solve that gap. Um, I would use the align tool in the, up in the modify in the ribbon and you can either bring the wall forward so I'm just click, clicking on this area of the wall and then I'm, I'm clicking the, the full wall to bring it up or you can click the wall here and bring the roof back to meet that. The other thing I noticed when going through this project is the roof here intersects on the inside. Um, so to solve that, we're going to double click the roof, or we're going to single click the roof and then go up to edit or double click it to open it. And um, we're going to select the pick wall tool. And we're just going to pick this wall and that wall. And you can see here that that's um, just that corner where it goes inside the building there. So I've, I've used the fill command to clean that up. And then I'm going to turn off the slope on these. And then now you'll see, uh, I'm not sure how this roof was constructed before, but just look at this. So I'm going to add a slope onto this bottom section here, probably a 212 slope. There we go, we have the slope that we're coming up there. We don't necessarily need to overhang this much. Um, I guess one of, the, one of the good things, I usually do pick wall, and then I change the overhang to be um, around two to three feet and so let's redo these pieces here and we'll select the overhang to be three feet and it's going to offset the roof three feet on those sides so now we'll use the fill it um, command a little again here and fill it all these together and we're going to turn off these right here, the slopes, and then this one will change again to 212. And that's looking a little bit more consistent there. And then you can also see um, on this corner, um, you'd think there should be a line here. And part of that reason might be we just need to bring those this part out here. Um, but the other thing is, um, if you actually to join these segments, um, if you can't see that line, that'll help bring that line to light. Um, let me just go back here, and I'll just show you that visually here. So, so you can use this join command and join those walls, so you can see it. And then uh, the last thing I'm going to note about this project is we have these offsetting roofs in here. And, and I guess this is a bit of a design thing, but, you know, it's nice to have a bit more separation. And so we're just going to take this top roof here and move it up maybe uh, one more foot just so there's a little bit more separation. And then in this area here, we're going to build a wall. And so I'm going to go to level three and I'm going to turn on, I guess the, actually the other thing I can do is I'm going to go to an elevation here and I'm going to reveal hidden elements and I'm going to copy up this level three to be up here. I'm going to move it so it's right at the top edge of the roof. And I'm going to call this t.o.r, which stands for top of roof. And now 
as you know, as you can see in this uh, floor plan area on the side, that didn't show up. So to make that show up, we go to view, we go to plan views, and we go to floor plans, and then you see TOR is there. And now we have a plan. So now, as you can see, we can't see the billing. So what we got to do is change the view range, which is over here in the properties, and change the bottom to be unlimited. And then now we'll see everything on the site. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use the tab key to select the roof here. And then I'm going to type HH to temporarily hide that roof. And then now we're going to use the wall and we're going to go from level three to unconnected. And we're just going to draw this right in here. I'm going to change, before I draw that, I'm going to change up the finished face exterior. I'm going a little bit fast here, but you obviously can pause and go back if you need to. So this wall, I'm going to attach it to this roof as well, which is going to cut it off there. And then this I'm going to bring down to here and then lower to here. And then I'm just going to attach that roof to that in there. And so that way we closed up that top part. And that's actually a great, um, a great way to do it too, because you can provide a lot of nice venting in here to get a lot of airflow going, which is obviously a very technical thing, but airflow is definitely something you want to be concerned about in attics and attic spaces there. So that's how I would clean up um, just a few different elements of this project. Um, and we can go further in depth if people have further questions, but uh, let me know.